So I've never played a Tekken game before. But what the f is that a bear in Kung Fu gear? This game is amazing. I'm gonna put every Tekken 8 character in a tier list based on their vibes. And these are the categories we're looking at. We have a legendary Riz. This is for amazing vibes, of course. Please hang out with me. Pretty good vibes. I wanna kick it with you. Okay, Tekken. I mean, you're a Tekken character. Tekken vibes. Awkward small talk. You're, I mean, you're weird, man. You're just a little too weird for me. If the vibes are off, you go here. And finally, you need to leave. These are for horrific vibes. I mean, truly just the worst vibes you could imagine. All right, let's get started. This man is America. The haircut definitely throws you off until he rides into battle on a motorcycle. Yep, that's us. Score one for the home team. His whole style is pretty basic and his moves feel like something I could pull off with 10 minutes of stretching. I'll give him an okay Tekken. Listen, I don't understand why Colonel Sanders is speaking French, okay? I don't. But guess what? I don't care. He's nailing it. That's definitely French, and I don't speak that. I always admire a man who has a gun and a sword, because that's crazy and makes no sense. This dude goes pretty hard. Please hang out with me. Now, this is a character that brings a lot to the table, and I'm talking about backstory and lore and all sorts of information that's definitely relevant to the plot. Are you paying attention? I feel like you're not listening to me. Okay, yes, that part is great, but she's also giving me strong Tifa vibes every time she does a kick punch combo. Please hang out with me. I don't know what happened to the first seven jacks, but this guy is hilarious. He probably has the saddest backstory of all the characters, but this is goofy. Please hang out with me. Leo has a negative Riz. He is physically incapable of being cool. If they ever make a Tekken Jr., Leo is your guy. Awkward small talk. Law speaks to me on a spiritual level. The only other fighting game I've really gotten into was MK11 and I main Liu Kang. These are basically the same character. No shirt, nunchaku fighting style, and the funny noises go crazy. It's amazing and I love it. Legendary Riz. Nope, you need to leave. Raven, mission. Pure distilled anime. I might be wrong on this one, but is he a cyborg ninja? Is the result of my training. Brother, you're in. Legendary Riz. Plus, he can teleport like Nightcrawler and then punch you in the face like Paul. Remember Paul? He was all right, I guess. Not as cool as Raven. The man is a spicy meatball, I'll tell you that. I don't have any actual reasons to dislike this guy, but I, I do. I, I hate him. I hate him a lot. I don't know, man. He's just weird. Very easy. You need to leave. My guy has the look, and he's got the gameplay. He front flips like a madman and kicks with the force of a thousand suns that are very strong suns with feet. I don't know. He seems very serious. I don't know what the truth is in this context. If you're adopted or something, I'm, I'm sorry you have to find that out from me. I'll go OK Tekken. First of all, you look like one of those newsboys they would pay one cent in 1910 to hand out papers for 37 hours in a row. What I'm trying to say is you dress like child labor laws haven't been invented yet. However, this chick slaps, brother. I don't know what was going on, but I was having a blast being like, extra, extra, read all about it. Please hang out with me. I'm gonna tell you right now, she's ticking all the right boxes. The stance is insane. Her spine is completely shattered. She's got purple Azazel powers. I don't know what that means at all. And her fit is unreasonably complicated. There's so much random bullshit on there, but still, please hang out with me. An actual panda is an automatic 10 out of 10. Legendary Riz Lord. There's nothing I could even say. Congratulations, panda. You're a panda. I know three things about Lily. She loves cats way too much, her rich dad will buy anything for her, and I want nothing but bad things to happen to Lily. In Minecraft, of course. You need to leave. Xiao Yu reminds me of an old Chinese proverb. I believe it goes something like, Chun-Li did it first, you absolute dingus. How dare you? I've never played Street Fighter in my life, so I'm really not that invested in this. Okay, Tekken. Jin is the main character, and I can tell you that because the main character always looks the most normal in games like this, and I have no idea why. Please stop asking. His moves are cool, his fit is decent, main character vibes for sure. 
Okay, Tekken. Now that we're halfway through, if you're enjoying the video, please feel free to like and subscribe because this game came out 13 hours ago and I've been, uh, I've been up all night editing like an insane person. Okay, thank you. Back to the video. Same as Jin. Obvious bad guy is obvious. He's wearing like a chain mail trench coat with wings coming out the back and a three-piece business suit underneath. Very dramatic. He would be exhausting to hang out with. Awkward small talk. Is there not an age limit on Tekken? He literally has a cane to help him walk. And yet, this man has more riz in his left pinky than Claudio has in his entire DiGiorno stuffed crust fake Italian body. Yeah, that's right. I'm calling you out, Claudio. I don't even think you're Italian. Why does your birth certificate say Little Rock, Arkansas, you phony? You need to leave. Leroy is legendary riz. Let's get this over with. Let's get one thing straight about Nina. Is she dressed like every lady assassin of all time? Of course. Does she have the same personality as all of them? Obviously. Do I love her? Completely. She's got the it factor, man. I don't know what to say. Please hang out with me. I truly have no idea if this is a man with a cheetah head, or a cheetah with a man body, or a man-cheetah hybrid with a normal body for its species. What I do know is that he's an amazing wrestler, and for that he has legendary Riz. Lars wants to be Goku so bad. Well, guess what, Lars? We all want to be Goku. And yeah, some of us don't have the hair for it anymore, but it's not our fault. Some of us have the humiliating bald gene kick in when we're still young. Why me? I'm sorry, Lars, it's not your fault. Okay, Tekken. June is scary in a way that's hard to describe. She looks very boring and she plays very boring, but for some reason, birds flock to her as if they know something that we don't. If she asked me to bag her groceries, I would do it. Not because I'm a good person, but because the one who controls the birds controls us all. Awkward small talk. Out of all the characters in this game, Fang makes me believe it the most. This man loves Tekken. Fang lives for the fight. He is here to destroy, and I am so glad that he did it to Leo specifically. Legendary Riz. I don't know anything about this franchise or these characters until I play as them in the game. Imagine my surprise when this lady pulls her head off and it explodes in someone else's hands. Truly terrifying stuff. You need to leave. He's like a scarab ninja robot with a sword. I'm pretty sure this type of existence is banned in like 49 of the 50 states. So he's a legend for that. With the legendary Riz. Is this the Japanese version of Paul? They both show up on motorcycles and then throw them away immediately. Neither have very much going on in terms of style. However, Huarang rhymes with boomerang and that's ridiculous. So he's going to legendary Riz. If there's a devil version of Jin, is there also an angel version? And do they know that the other one exists? That's a genuine question for the Tekken fans. Leave a comment below if uh, angel Jin and devil Jin should meet up sometime and kiss. You need to leave. Reyna strikes me as someone who doesn't take this world seriously. And as a guy who loves a martial arts bear more than anything else in this life, that upsets me. This is serious business, Reyna. Can you wear some pants next time, please? Awkward small talk. Last I heard, Steve was the Minecraft guy, but I guess that wasn't paying the bills. I do have to remind you that I'm an American and Steve is English, meaning give or take 300 years ago we had a bit of a falling out. I've never forgiven the British for taxing my great 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 grandparents without representation. You need to leave, mate, and take the tea with you. Legendary Riz, one million percent. This guy never says anything. He just looks at you all Russian-like. I can't even have awkward small talk with him because he refuses to talk. You have to leave. Our final character, Brian, has fists of fury, no doubt. 
but when he's not fighting, he's just creepy laughing. It's a real character flaw, I think. He can't stop. At least he's giving me something to work with, though. Dragonov. I'll give him awkward small talk. Well, this is the final tier list for character vibes in Tekken 8. Let me know if you agree with my assessment in the comments, and uh, I can't wait to figure out who these characters are in the story mode. Bye!